What's up, guys? <laughs> it's Chris again with AndrewDeMeet.com. Yeah, I know. Have you ever seen a theme online or maybe someone else's ROM and thought, hey, that's a really cool theme that they put on there. I wish I could have that on my ROM. Well, the developer whose name is Sterickson, he has created the answer. The answer, my friends is Metamorph. Metamorph is basically an app that lets you pick apart uh, certain pieces of the UI uh, on your ROM and you can uh, basically theme it however you like. So you can either find maybe a full theme that you want to apply uh, or you can just take little pieces from different themes or just uh, basically make your own, basically your own custom theme. Now the app can be a little tricky um, if you're not really too experienced or just uh, using it for the first time. But that's why you have me to walk you through it. So come, take my hand, and let's explore the wonders of Metamorph. All right, so first thing you want to do is you just want to get the uh, Metamorph app from the market. So just go into market, type in Metamorph, and uh, download it. Once it is downloaded, you want to go to... I will have a link in the sidebar for the um, the thread on XDA, which basically has all the little parts and pieces, some um, entire themes, uh, some just like little pieces of themes uh, for, for the Metamorph app. Now, what I'm going to do is I already got one full theme, which would be... No, that's Dark Star. Uh, which would be the espresso theme. I want that to be on my um, incredibly hideous Super CSDI ROM. Um, and now there are a bunch of little pieces and parts, so I am going to get... Um, this looks kind of cool, the hero green selection effects. There's one thing that I really hate on some ROMs, and it's when they don't have the green... When they don't have the green selection, and I really enjoy it, I think it looks wonderful, and I think every ROM should have it, so... then now that that's downloaded... I have it right over here. Okay, now that we have that, the, the green highlights downloaded, I actually have another one that I already put on there, but I'm just going to show you guys with the green highlights. Uh, just leave that there for a second. You want to open up your SD card. And you want to create a folder on here called Android Themes. Now, this should be right here. No spaces, Android Themes. Just create the nice little folder so that that's where you're going to be placing your, your themes. Now, I already have a couple of them in here. Uh, but as you can see, they're folders and they're not zip files. So what you want to do is just grab your zip file, place it into your Android Themes folder, and then um, extract it into this folder. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this step. There's an app you can use on your phone called um, And Explorer, but I figure while I'm transferring it, I might as well just zip it. I could do it a lot faster on my computer, so um, it's unzipping, it's doing its thing. And when it is all done, There it goes. Now I have the highlights green folder on my, or inside of my Android themes folder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this zip file. Don't really need it for anything. All right. And let's just go ahead and back up out of here. I'm going to eject. And we're going to go back to the phone. All right, so we're back on our phone. Now this is where the magic is gonna happen. We need to open up the Metamorph app. Now they're gonna check a few things. I think they need to check to see if um, the ROM that you have has BusyBox, because it needs, uh, I'm not really sure what BusyBox does, but it actually needs it in order for it to run. Um, of course it's gonna ask for root permissions, like pretty much anything you do with your phone. <laughs> As you can see here, you have two options at the bottom. There is going to be pick theme or existing theme. Now, I don't need to pick a theme because um, that's basically for when you have a zip file in that folder and you want to um, extract it, and we don't really need to do that, so we're just going to go to existing theme. 
And now it tells you there's a little prompt to pick a .theme file, a .thm file. And that is basically what Metamorph uses to um, theme, theme the ROM that you're on. Now, not every theme or every piece of a theme is compatible with every ROM. Um, as you'll see from the website, there will be some that are basically um, have been tested with, like, say, Cyanogen, but they should work with every ROM, or some that may or may not work. Um, we're going to go ahead and, um, I guess you're not really flashing, but we're going to open up the um, Ultra Espresso. That's the theme that I want to put over this because I can't stand this stuff. I can't stand how when I touch something it barely changes color and the blue highlights and the nah, all the, the horribleness. So let's go ahead and open up Ultra Espresso. You just want to open up the folder and look right away for the dot theme file. So we're going to click on it and right away Metamorph recognizes the theme file and it shows you that there are a couple of things that you could theme. Basically you have contacts, launcher, and framework. Uh, launcher will um, theme the little app drawer tab and all that stuff that's in there. Contacts will, um, it's going to theme your, your contacts app. Uh, framework would be the top part, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be your pull down. So it's going to basically metamorph three items. And that's exactly what I want to do. Now you can see up at top it says made for version any black version. And the reason that is is because if I were to flash um, a theme that made my notification bar white, because this ROM has black notifications, um, if this bar was white you would see around 3G there would be a black box. Around uh, reception there would be a black box. Around my apps and stuff there would be like these little black boxes and it looks horrible. So. Um, this one is specifically for, of course, a black version. Um, you'll probably see when you um, do some trial and error, when you flash some, some crazy stuff or install some crazy themes. But right now we're just going to um, apply all. I don't really want to pick just one or the other. I just want to put it all. I want to make it look all espresso. Ugh. Horrible, horrible blue selections. I cannot wait to um, to get this theme up and running. All right, so after a short amount of time or long amount of time, depending on um, how many or how much of the ROM you're theming, uh, sometimes it, it will ask you, uh, more than more than often, it, it'll ask you, would you like to reboot now? So I say, yes, of course. Okay, here we are. So now we have a nice new um, lock screen. It's shiny, it's black. I have the espresso launcher. The clock and stuff has changed. The battery is to like kind of like the hero one. Um, it's got transparent. It's got this cool espresso pull down. And uh, it looks like everything's working fine. Uh, the widgets are usually get a little little funked up. So to fix that problem, if it was had a problem loading a widget, I've noticed that before, just go ahead and delete it and then reapply the widget again. And um, should have no problem after that. Yep, there we go. Got weather again. Yeah, my Super CSDI is looking a whole lot better. I got green highlights, which I like a lot. Um, this was actually a pretty light theme, so as you can see, the widget hasn't changed. Um, I don't think it changed um, any of the icons. Uh, oh, it updated my Gmail icon, which I was really hating before, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, now I can finally um, just kick back and be content with my Super CSDI ROM. Um, go ahead and experiment, try out different themes and different stuff. They have themes on widgets, they have clocks, they have, uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. You guys, you guys can just go nuts and have fun with that. All right, so that was it. You just been metamorphin, morphotized. Now, originally I was pretty hard on uh, metamorph, simply because I had no idea how to use it and I fear what I don't understand. But now that I figured out how to use it, I think it's a great, I think it's a great idea and uh, anything that helps uh, the user gain a better uh, experience out of their phone, I am all for it. I just wanna thank all of the awesome themers out there. Uh, to me, it's just as important uh, as the, the ROM developers and stuff. If I have a horribly themed or really ugly ROM, I probably won't stick around too long on it. If a ROM is looking really, really pretty, I might just, you know, stick around. Trophy ROM. And a special thanks goes to Sterickson. 
for making Metamorph and single-handedly saving uh, the Super CSDI ROM that I had, aka Al Caliente, aka Spanish Black, aka Butterface ROM. Alright, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit up AndroidMe.com for all your Android needs. See you guys later. Bing!